Good morning, everyone. It is Thursday morning, April 21st, and an update on the storm system that's going to be affecting North Dakota over the weekend. We have two to three waves of precipitation that's going to be moving through. The first one comes in tonight, which would be generally light, frozen precipitation for northern locations. Southern locations, probably some light rain, maybe also some frozen precipitation. Then we have some light drizzle that moves through for the rest of the day. That one doesn't really count for an area of precipitation. Or at least that's not what I was referring to. Then we have two bands, two different waves of precipitation that move through. Each one potentially, if it would fall as snow, each one would be 6 to 12 inches. However, the first one is not expected to fall as snow. The first one is either going to be a rain or freezing rain situation. So there's a potential ice storm which would have great impacts for North Dakota on Shabbos on Saturday. We also have a severe weather outbreak possible Friday night as well for South Central North Dakota and also South Dakota. The primary threat is large hail. There also could be a tornado or two, especially in South Dakota. Precipitation then changes over to snow by Saturday evening, by Shabbos evening. Precipitation rates could be heavy. Winds are going to be strong. Winds become strong Saturday night. The winds become strong when the transition to snow takes place and the chances are 6 to 12 inches sounds like a very reasonable forecast considering you're on the back side of a system that's producing around 2 inches of rain so the first half the first inch of rain is not falling as snow but you figure the second half you get another inch which produces 6 to 12 inches of snow blizzard or near blizzard conditions expected for Saturday night this is a major impact event. Should an ice storm develop on Saturday, the strong winds significantly add to the severity of the impact Saturday night as ice accumulates on trees and power lines. Elsewhere in the Midwest, we have a really warm air that's making its way into the Midwest. Tomorrow, we're going to see temperatures in the 80s for the southern Midwest and for the western Midwest. In fact, even South Dakota, temperatures going into the 80s, perhaps even low 90s for some locations, especially in Nebraska. And then on Shabbos, that warm air moves east, moves north and east, affecting Minneapolis, Minnesota, Chicago, Illinois, South Bend, Indiana. St. Louis will already be under the warm air for, from Friday onward. That warm air heads east, affecting the east coast by Sunday, bringing temperatures well into the 80s, perhaps even 90 degrees for Virginia, 80s for Washington, D.C., and Baltimore, 70s or 80s, depending on where they are in regards to the sea breeze, where that sea breeze is. I wish everyone a good yontif. Have a good weekend. Thank you for listening.